let's try if it could possibly go this far oh nice oh holy shit oh it's not working oh my god oh my god oh shit let's take a downhill oh my goodness all right i'm pulling out brakes okay okay stop 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 so welcome back to the channel into introvert gamer and this is the video for the all the indian uh cars for off-roading today and we are gonna try out a total of uh, five uh, indian cars so uh, this one is the uh yeah the bolero then the comes the uh, swift then comes this swift gv then the bolero police car and lastly this uh, crystal toyota so all right so let me know which one is your favorite indian car in this video and which one would you like to see in the up upcoming next videos let's try it out uh, one by one let's check uh, how this car works in such a uh, tough places uh, hilly areas and yeah so let's try out let's give a try here Oh shit, let's uh, turn off this radio first, turn off the radio, so let's go and take some advantage of this off-roading. So let's check how well uh, Toyota Crystal is gonna do, so okay, it's uh, taking a little bit pressure to <laughs> come this far. So let's see if we can uh, move ahead this way and yeah so we are almost here and let's try if it could possibly go this far oh nice okay so uh, it's a little bit tough difficult for uh, this uh, car especially on the dark side okay so it's gonna be dark soon so we are done with this uh, Toyota Crystal and as for the rating for uh, the off-roading experience I would give 4 out of 10 Alright so here we have this Indian Mahindra Bolero It's an SUV car so it's an SUV car it comes with both petrol and diesel engine so uh, I'm excited to try out this car Honk alright so let's uh, move ahead to some different locations Oler, let's see how well it does in the hilly areas the bolero is like well known oh shit you should be looking the fuck out the bolero in uh <laughs> this car is like uh, well known in the indian market for its strong presence such and charisma it has been in the indian market for a very long time and let's see how well it goes in the off-roading section so i'm just looking for some ways to get on the way to the top all right okay it's getting a little bit pressure on the engine more than the crystal so it's an all generation model uh, of the mahindra bolero all right here we are let's see how well it does as expected uh, this car is just the way uh, like it uh, runs in the real life Holy shit. Oh shit. Alright, so let's see if we would uh, make a reverse and go upwards. Alright, it's going upwards. Anyways, that's nice. So here we are we are done with this bolero and and as for the rating for this uh, off-roading experience, I would give 5.5 out of 10 for this bolero. And let's try out the another car. Here we have all right so here we have this suzuki gv it's one of the car uh, from the uh, indian market uh, suzuki gv so let's uh, check it out how well it does uh, in the all right hills Woo! all right pretty smooth handling pretty well all right so uh, let's try out the uphill section uh, we'll try out how well it's gonna do okay mm, probably making a u-turn all right okay it's not able to uh, take the uphills uh, that too easily so it's a uh, very difficult for suzuki all right okay all right oh woo! that's nice <laughs> I'm trying to put 
some brakes on the car. Alright. Oh, it's not working. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. I'm almost gonna fall. Alright, so let's try it out. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Uh, this car, uh, pretty much the engine is taking a little bit damages. I mean, like, yeah, the engine is taking a little bit of uh, pressure uh, because it's Suzuki, and yeah, that's it. All right. Shit. Let's try out the reverse section. Okay, it got some hit and damages. So as for the off-roading rating of this Suzuki, I would give uh, a rating of around 4 out of 10. So let's uh, check out the other Indian cars. So what we have here, we have the... Alright, so here we have this Kerala Mahindra Bolero Police uh, car. So it's not pretty much different from the uh, classic Bolero that we tried uh, a few moments ago. But however, let's try out uh, if we find out any difference between the Boleros. This cop car, it represents Kerala. As you can see, it's already written in the, its native language on the doors. And yeah. Uh, it pretty much uh, makes a fancy car uh, for the as for the police. So let's try the sirens. Oh, feels nice. Let's try it out. How far it's gonna go? Okay. Oh shit, shit. Already took some damages, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh shit. The engine took a really big hit. People are like probably shocked like where the fuck this uh, police car came all the way from India but surprisingly it's not. Alright so we are gonna take a uphill way to the top. So let's try it out and okay let's see how well it's gonna do. Okay it's uh doing a little bit better i feel like a little bit better than the previous bolero the classic black one okay so let's try it out how well the control works on this car oh it's making a eight pattern all right okay shit let's take a downhill oh my goodness the engine has been exposed all right okay so let's take a dip down here let's see uh, how much it can resist all right okay shit so this is the indian bolero uh, police car so yeah pretty much uh, almost uh, like just the same like the classic bolero it doesn't have that much difference to be honest as expected We can see it got some damages on the vehicle or anyway so we are gonna try out our last car which we have is Suzuki Swift the red one so let's try it out all right here we have the uh, Suzu Swift it's very much uh, loved by the Indians as it's uh, like typical uh, family car for most of the middle class Indians so yeah let's try it out I feel like uh, this car is more lightweighted than all the previous cars that we have seen in this video and I feel like this car is doing a little bit oh my god this car is very lightweighted and yeah I feel like I shouldn't use my full acceleration because if I do it's gonna roll up and down all the way to the bottom let's see how well it does in the uphill section so let's uh, try it out to the uphill area. All right. So let's try it out. Okay. It's almost on the way to the top. It's taking a big hit on the engine, as you can see. It's struggling to make it on the way to the top. All right. I'm pulling out brakes. Okay. Okay. Stop. 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 Oh, it it couldn't. Even the handbrakes didn't work. So let's try it out like one more time and we will finalize this. 
All right, on the way to the top. All right, it can't go too much on the way to the top that way easily because it usually puts a lot of pressure on the engine and it's probably not uh, for the off-roading actually. So that's it. Uh, okay, so we are just exiting. So all right, we just exited here and we came to the end of this video. So that's all for today guys. Uh, we tried out these uh, five Indian cars and probably one non-SUV car which is this Suzuki Swift uh, red one. All right, so let me know which one is your favorite Indian car in this video and which one would you like to see in the up upcoming next video. So uh, let me know guys and I'll get back to you with my comments. Okay guys, so, so if you enjoyed this video, do give a thumbs up to this video and and also subscribe to the channel hit the not notification bell and I will see you in my next video till then take care and keep watching